pathmate a pathmate contains a selected point on a component to a path so what exactly we are doing here in this image you can see this block should travel along this conveyor along this path so what are the entities we will select for this path mate we will select a vertex or a datum point and we will give a path so this point will exactly travel along the given path let's see how we can do this in solidworks go to solidworks graphical user interface and this component first i need to locate on this face i'll go, go and say mate coincident this face not point this face this face and okay i'll go and say this face and this face and i will locate it roughly over this face now we need to apply path mate and i will say this point here we need to select component vertex this is my component vertex and the path is this is my path now you can see you'll be able to move in this direction but now you can see it is rotating in all the direction but i need to move only in the specific direction when i drag this i need to move only in specific direction how we can do this here you will have number of parameters to control this orientation we have free path distance along the path you can enter distance how much you need accordingly if you drag it will be incremented in this distance and you can uh, you can apply once again percent along path and now i will use free right now and once again you can see here how it should move it should move freely or it should move along the path how it should move so when you select follow path you will have the option of defining x direction y direction and z direction and here we have once again free and up vector here you need to define the vector so that the component will be rolled based on the vector direction and once you finish all this you can define the path mate and click ok here now i had given for the path constraint free pitch also free and also it should roll freely i click ok here now i need to select one more constraint this vertex should be aligned on this path and once you complete this now if you drag this you'll be able to understand the behavior of this component drag this you can see the element is moving along this path this is how you can define the path mate for the component which is moving along the path and that's all about path mate